What's up everyone? It's Blu-ray Hunting Tuesday with not a lot of new releases coming out today. I'm switching it up a little bit. We're going to Barnes & Noble. I can usually find some great hard to find stuff at Barnes & Noble. Steel books, discounted Blu-rays. So I'm excited to go and see what I could find. We'll also hit up Best Buy and of course Target. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. All right, going into Barnes & Noble. Seeing if we could find interesting something interesting today. So coming into Barnes & Noble in the new releases section, we do have some Criterions all about Eve. I do like Betty Davis. I have a respect for her. I don't know. I just like her stuff. Another Criterion, Cold War. This was a couple of years ago. As we all know, the director of this movie took Bradley Cooper's spot. He should have been nominated for Best Director. So I kind of have a grudge against that movie. <laughs> Another Criterion, all about my mother. And we have Betty Blue. Not really sure what that one is about. We also have Now Voyager with Betty Davis. A lot of Betty Davis stuff. Okay, so we got some Criterions going on. I'm going to peruse around and see what else I can find. So over on the kind of physical media wall that they have here, only the top is Blu-rays. I really have everything already or I'm kind of not interested, although this title was kind of interesting, Man of a Thousand Faces. It's a biopic about Lon Chaney, but that's $34.99. Plus, I'm not like totally into that, but if you guys are, then it's here at Barnes & Noble for you. But it's kind of slim pickings for the Blu-rays, to be honest, and I have the majority of the stuff already. As far as steelbooks go, Barnes & Nobles has the same ones that I've showed you before. They have the striped steelbook down there, and then the weird science one as well. I actually picked that up a couple of trips ago. But they're highlighting E.T., the original It, with Tim Curry, Soil and Green, The Secret Garden, Little Shop of Horrors for only $10, Barnes & Noble special. If you haven't seen Little Shop, you should. It's an awesome musical. And then they also have The Birds. I picked up this Blu-ray, but they're coming out with the Steel Book, of course. So I'm obviously probably gonna pick that one up as well. But I'm not finding anything super interesting yet. Of course, I found myself in kind of like the horror, like suspense section over here, cause I'm new to the genre. And I have been looking and I came across Vertigo. It is $19.99, but it is 30% off Barnes & Noble special, so I actually might pick this one up. I'm trying to get more classic works into the collection, so this may be a possibility. There's other stuff as well. I did see North by Northwest. Yes, so I actually might pick this one up as well, but I don't know. It's $20 with no extra saving sticker. Hmm, maybe, maybe, maybe. But there isn't really too much, guys. I don't know, I'm kind of disappointed with Barnes & Noble today. Not too many Blu-rays. Cruising around in the Criterion section, I'm actually coming across a lot of the new releases that I mentioned in What's New for Blue. So here is the Secrets and Lies Criterion that came out a couple of weeks ago. And then we also have, where is it? Oh, right here. Defending Your Life with Meryl Streep and Albert Brooks. And then also History is Made at Night. So see, they are new releases. They're out here at your Burns & Noble. So it's good to know that they are available. So I'm still just poking around. I love coming to the back wall here at Barnes & Noble because these are all the movies that are on sale for a very cheap price. The majority of them are DVD, but they do have like the Blu-ray column right here. And this is where I usually find the movies for really cheap prices like $9.99 and $4.99. So I always like to go through and just see what I could find. Conan the Barbarian. Possible. Might be a possibility. I'm going to put it all off to the side. Casino. The Deer Hunter. Ooh. Regular original Dune. Nice. Fantastic Beasts. Eyes Wide Shut. They usually have great titles. Kind of like obscure stuff. Hard to find stuff. Forbidden Planet. Oh my. That looks like a very cheesy old movie. Let me know down below if you've heard of it. Hacksaw Ridge, Inglorious Bastards, John Wick, not obscure, John Wick 2, Led Zeppelin, Legend with Tom Cruise, that's obscure. You never really find that. The Maltese Falcon, ooh, see, you find stuff. I'm telling you, you find cool stuff. So I'm gonna put that aside as well. They have all these great, great things. 
Tom Cruise. That's not obscure. Okay. What's that? Oh, Scar Joe. Under the skin. I don't even know what that is. And what else? Unforgiven. Nice. So they do have some pretty cool titles, but Maltese Falcon, I was actually thinking about buying this the last time I was here. It's only $10. It's most likely coming home with me. So you can really find some good deals if you go against the wall in the back. Barnes & Noble pulls through again. They are so wonderful for finding rare and obscure older titles that you can't necessarily find anywhere else. I cannot wait to show you what I got, but we're gonna save that for later. We're going to Best Buy. All right, location number two, we're going into Best Buy. Maybe we can find something interesting. Why is that tree in the way? They need to move that tree. At the new releases in Best Buy, Wonder Woman 84 still on the top with steelbooks. That's a bad sign. That's a bad sign the steelbooks are still in stock like three weeks later. Anyway, we still have all the titles that we've been seeing before. Earwig and the Witch. We still have that golden steelbook. Fatale, Half Brothers, Let Him Go, The My Hero Academia, John Wick 3 for $11.99. That's a great deal. If you don't have it already, Love and Monsters, Star Trek Trilogy, Lord of, Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, Harry Potter. They got all this stuff. Let's cruise around to the other side. See what we have over here. All right, we still have Soul at the top. Promising Young Woman, one copy. Should I put in a copy of Barb and Star for the 3K giveaway package? Is that the bonus movie I should include? No worries, I'm not gonna do that to you. But they do have Willy's Wonderland. They didn't have this last week, but they do have it this week. They're one week off, that's all right. Plenty of copies of Mulan, the usual stuff. All right, let's see what I can find if I poke around. So I'm looking and I'm like in between the rack and the wall here, it's very tight, but just to let you guys know, I thought that was funny. You know, there's a few copies of every movie until you get to Angel Has Fallen and there's like 16 copies of it. Wow. So if you guys really are Jones and for Angel Has Fallen, check your Best Buy, it might be there. And it's only $7.99. So I'm at the back wall. Here we go, the one row. Nothing is really jumping out at me. It's all the same stuff that we've been seeing week after week. Really nothing new. There's nothing new coming out today. So it's kind of like, eh, let's just go poke around and see what we got. But we've got the same titles, the same old stuff. All the newest stuff is over here. If anything, the Mortuary Collection. This looks new. If that's your thing, I'm not really sure. It's not my thing. Not yet anyway, so I'm gonna put that back. But they still have all the other titles. Ugh, they still got Breach. Should I get that for the giveaway? <laughs> no, I would not do that to you guys. Oh, Best Buy, you let me down again. However, with no new releases this week, I really wasn't expecting a whole hell of a lot. While we're in this location, I'm gonna go to Walmart. It is right down the street. Maybe we could find something. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Pray that I will find something. Let's go. Next stop is good old Walmart. As we know, Walmart is known for their very obscure and weird titles. If you ever wanted to know where you could get the five movie collection of Don Knotts, it's at Walmart for $10.96. I mean, hey, if you've been looking for a really long time, now you know. They also have the six movie comedy collection of Rock Hudson. They have the birds. They're, they have this really cool like vintage art series cover. They also have the six movie collection of Doris Day vintage art series. So if you've been looking, you know where to get it. The complete series of The Nanny. If you are a fan of The Nanny and you have HBO Max, it's on there, just so you guys know. And then we got Wonder Woman 1984. Like the way they put things together here at Walmart is so weird. They have Titanic on Blu-ray. Only $12.96, that's actually not too bad. They also have Dirty Dancing on Blu-ray for $5, but let's not forget those steel books are coming out next week and the week after at Best Buy and at Target. So if you want the steel book, I would wait. But Walmart, they always deliver on these weird, weird titles. Looking in the movie collection area, I did see a couple of things that I do wanna point out that I haven't seen yet. So this is the complete seasons one through seven of American Horror Story. It looks like it's on regular DVD. However, if you have Netflix or Hulu, you can just stream it. 
But then they also have iconic films of the 80s and 90s, 10 movie collection for $39.96. So if you guys are interested in that, then they do have it at Walmart. If anything, going into Walmart is always entertaining. You really never know what you're going to find. Those collections are absolutely hilarious and also classic at the same time. Now we are off to the Target. That's my last hope to find something, anything interesting to pick up. And I also need to pick up something for the 3K package. So I need to find something, a Blu-ray, a steelbook, anything. Let's go. Last stop of the day. We're going into Target. We're going into Target. New TV and movies. There ain't no new TV and movies. It is just the regular stuff we've been seeing. Wonder Woman 84, Soul, Barb and Star. They still have that lenticular. Riding that shrimp or prawn, as someone called it in the comments. It's probably a prawn. Shadow in the Cloud, Don't Tell a Soul, News of the World. Yeah, there ain't nothing new at Target. Thank God I went to Barnes & Noble because there was nothing anywhere. In the collector sets, I did spot these. So under the Universal title, they have this 10 film comedy collection, which includes American Pie, The Big Lebowski, Billy Madison, Bruce Almighty, a bunch of wonderful comedy films. So if you enjoy any of those, you might want to pick that up here at Target. It is $29.99. And then the same with Universal's animation collection, Alvin and the Chipmunks, American Tale, Curious George, all that stuff at the same price on DVD. Other than that, I'm not seeing anything new. All the same titles, but we already knew this already. I came in with hopes though, I really did. But I did find something to put into the 3K package, so I'm excited about that. So let me get to the car so I can show you what I got today. Well, thank God I went to Barnes & Noble today because everything else at every other store was nothing new. I did find one thing at Target that I wanted, so I picked that up. Before I let you know what I got today, I wanna quickly mention that tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I am guest starring on a live chat on Mid-Level Media's channel. If you guys don't know who he is, he is a fellow Blu-ray hunter just like I am, but he also does other amazing physical media focused content. So make sure you tune in tonight, 420 at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on his channel, Mid-Level Media. You can see me, you can see him, you can ask questions, you can ask anything about physical media and Blu-rays and content, whatever you guys want to ask show up and ask some questions. It's gonna be a lot of fun, but let's get to the Blu-rays. That's what you wanna know. What did I get today? Well, at Barnes & Noble, Vertigo, I picked it up. You know what, with the 30% off, I could not resist it. I ended up paying like $12.99 for it. That's an absolutely incredible deal. So Vertigo, I picked up the Maltese Falcon. This was no surprise, I kind of was like, Woo! all excited when I found it in the pile. So yes, indeed, I did get this. I picked up the Deer Hunter. I passed it at first. I didn't really acknowledge it. After I recorded, I went back through the piles and I was like, you know what? I picked this one up and I said, I'm going to get this one. Meryl, Robert De Niro, Christopher Walken's in it. I mean, come on. Like, it's got to be good. It won Best Picture, so I should have this in the collection. And for $9.99, you really can't beat that deal. So the one thing that I bought at Target was Kong Skull Island. It is my favorite MonsterVerse film, and it caught my eye at $7.50. So I was like, yeah, $7.50, I'll buy it. It rang up for $5, even better. So if you want this movie at Target this week, it's $5. Go and pick it up. Now, I'm sure you're wondering if I found something for the 3K package to put in as an additional item. Yes, I did. I was kind of him hawing around. I wasn't really sure. But then I found the golden movie that everyone should see that we just talked about on Movie Club, Parasite, last year's Best Picture winner. So this is going to be included in the 3K winner package amazing incredibly awesome but the big question is what did you get when you went out today did you find anything weird eclectic or really hard to find let me know down below don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time